you're talking to, you text me. <laughs> Take, it in. Take it in. We are winging it with Hava today. You know what? I found her on Instagram and you know I love bad chicks on road. This is the baddest chick right now on road. You know, like when you flick through and you hear something, you're like, my girl, you're talking to things. That is exactly what I was going through. Hava, yes. welcome to my podcast. Stop guessing me, man. Stop guessing me. Oh my God, bullet, bullet, bullet. <laughs> Wait, you're here. Mm-hmm. You are Miss Pandemic. Oh god! She coined that word, you know. Oh my god! I created it. You, you created. Know, I was actually standing in the kitchen. Ah, uh, right I was actually standing in the kitchen, and um, I was thinking about. I was actually thinking to myself, but very seriously, like if we dated in twenty twenty, it don't count, man. And that's what I was thinking, right? And then I was thinking, you was and the word no, just no, coming to my head. I was no, thinking, I, I was like, we're why in is it that it didn't count? Because you opened your legs, or or you went on a, <laughs> a walk on the south bank, depending what kind of girl you are. Mm. And if you got the dick in the pandemic, mm-hmm. hence the pandemic dick, uh-huh. why don't it count? Because sometimes, the, didn't you notice that in 2020, some people just kind of lost it a little bit? Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And like, we, we, I'm sure everybody can vouch for me for this one. We was doing some little things that we, we well, wouldn't well, have necessarily been doing. Well, weren't we supposed to be not doing anything? Because we were supposed to be isolating our that's damn selves. That's another conversation, man. That's another, that's another conversation. <laughs> we were supposed to be, because I don't think you can hang. I my girl could be out. Yeah. <laughs> right, so out. you were supposed to be isolating your ass in your house with your little bubble. <laughs> not for all of it. Or not bubble, we bubble, bubble. We wasn't locked down for the whole time. That's true. But only for also, half what, the you're time. counting the time that even when we was outside as pandemic as well. Yes. So <laughs> were you pandemic Yeah. Mm. Well, I wouldn't have said it if I weren't. Come on, I got to own that. You're, I wouldn't have said it if I weren't. The thing is, it was actually just, it was actually a joke. I was saying it as a joke, but the amount of people that have got hurt by it, by this word, men mainly, yeah. is is just, it's too funny to but why me. Why they've got hurt? Why are they hurt? It's too funny to me. It's because according to those men, yeah. They can speak about us like we're just throwaway things here and there. Yeah, like they do this and they do that. Yeah, I smash that. Yeah, I bang that or whatever. But if a female does it, yeah. if a female says something that makes men feel like they're just being used for something, oh my God, they're so hurt. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And I just thought to myself, I just sat back and looked at, because Officially Urban posted it and then it just went a little bit madness. Because people don't want to think, or men don't want to think that they're easy. But some of them are easy and sometimes we take advantage of that as women. Like, I'm not going to lie. The same way they look at us and think we're a bit easy, we know the DMs are popped or it's a bit too slimy. If I need a little... I get it, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And there's but nothing why, wrong with it. No. This this is the thing, right? This is the thing that's got out of control. The fact that I said it don't count you as pandemic, there's nothing negative about that. Not to me, anyway. I don't see that I mean, as What a you've negative. done is you've castrated the man. You've discredited his effort whether it be two minutes or 20 you've discredited those minutes yeah how would you feel if you was discredited like that but i didn't call no one out did i but what if you were what can we call the pom pandem 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 what if you what if your man said that about you men say that about everyone all the time yeah, what's true. the difference come on what's the difference every co- i've got a lot of male friends and I'm always in with their bands, and I'm always sitting there listening to them. They talk trash. Do you know what I mean? And like we, I think we're quite accommodated to it. I think we're quite used to it, and therefore I think we are. it's something that's not seen as as out of order and yeah. disrespectful as it actually yeah. is anymore. Because it's just like, but the thing is, I also I, I don't really see a problem with people just having sex and it not taking it any further. Yeah. Like that is it, apparently it's just okay for men to do it and speak up openly about it but when women do it because some of us women don't want anything more from a single from a particular person because you can be in that point in your life that honestly 
relationships become too complicated. Yeah. If you've got so many other things going on, yeah. the same way they say, men say, mm. oh no, I'm trying to build and I'm trying to do this and I'm trying to focus. But obviously they want things, in mm. it? But they love to do I can't get in a relationship because I'm focused mm. on my money right now. That's Why can't we say that? Why I can't I be for that. You do. I do say And that. how do they take it when you say that? They, First of all, they love it. Oh, because they think this what, is what, always the normal reaction. Well, they Let get turned you, on by yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Our powerful woman are like, oh, I don't need to worry about nothing with her. You know, yeah. oh, like she's oh, cool. You know, like it's, mm. it's just made. It's like a, it's like a dinner. Like yes. every, everything's on the plate here. Just yes. eat it. And then they realize that this girl is not, I'm not going to catch a vibe. I am exactly what I said. If I've come into it like that, I am who I say I am. If that's how, what I've said, then that's what it is. And you know what the killer is? They catch feelings, you know. Yes. See these dudes. And they catch feelings. And then they're like, oh, how can this girl not want me, me? back? Yeah. How can she Eek. not want me back? How can she not? Like all these other girls are like, laying down and falling in love with me and whatever. And my girl, she's not even catching her feels. Like, and I'm just like, didn't I tell you from the beginning? Why are you sitting in front of me crying? All right. So, so <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Some would say that you're trying to, with that, that, that attitude, you're trying to be like some alpha woman. First of all, I am. Ooh. Alpha woman, but <clears throat> but no 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> My girl is a self declared alpha. I yeah. I thought women can't be alphas. Why? Who told you that? A man. <laughs> hey, the internet told <laughs> me man. that. There's no such thing as an alpha woman. So what is an alpha woman in your definition? Okay, though? so for me personally, I, when I when I talked about being an alpha publicly and it went completely viral. I think the reason why women loved it, women felt so empowered by it mm. and shared it everywhere. And I love that because... Well, what's your definition of an alpha woman? For me personally, I was just basically saying that I'm a person that provides for myself. Mm. I provide for myself. Everything in my life I have got because I have woken up. I have worked for it. I provide everything for me. Even a pat on my, on my back. I tell myself I'm proud of myself. Yeah. I compliment myself. I do everything that I need. I'm not saying that I don't ever need a man. Mm. I'm just saying that... The reasons why you need the man is getting less and less. They're getting less and less as well as my table is already fully formed. If you're going to come and sit down and eat oh, at wait, my wait, table... Wait, 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 wait. So they're sitting at your table. You're not you're sitting, sitting, you're sitting at... You're always sitting at my table. You're always sitting at my table. It's my life. It's my table. Nobody else exists in my life. So obviously it's my table. You know yes. what I mean? Obviously it's my table. So yes. you don't come and bring me no breadcrumbs. I don't yes. want no breadcrumbs. Uh, but I'm also yes. saying that for me personally, as an alpha female, I will be submissive in an environment that I feel safe enough in. Unfortunately, right. there's not a lot of people around these days that make you feel safe enough to drop that guard. Me being an alpha comes probably from trauma. From probably from things that I've had to go through on my own without another person in the world and they have just created this Fort Knox guard so is an alpha female damaged would you say no I would say an alpha female is a healed version of somebody that was damaged I am so healed now that you can't come into my life and not know who you are and what you are about I know myself so well that I'll make you question if you've ever known yourself <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But I've done the work. I have done the work. I took time out of my life. Everybody in Do you this know, world I did not know. see I me. I want to hear this because I've been through trauma, whatever. And you read books and they say, or you watch podcasts or whatever, and they say, do the work. Mm. What's the work? It's, it's, obviously, it's not GCSEs. It's not A-levels. No. It's not degree. What is the blasted work? It's different for everybody. But for me personally, it was going inwards and facing a hell of a lot of things that I did not want to face, that I didn't want to accept. For me personally, it actually stemmed from losing my dad three years ago. Um, and that was, do you know what the most work that I did was actually this year? Nobody would believe me. I know everybody's sitting there and going, oh, look at her, she thinks she's alpha and blah, blah, blah. Uh, from January to April of this year, I was in my bed. I couldn't even sometimes have a shower. Seriously. I couldn't. Of 2021? Of 2021. But we're only in August. So how I you know. get out of bed from now? Because it took me about three months. That was me facing... There was something wrong. I knew that there was something wrong. There's something fundamentally was that, that I had to deal with. Or it was It was a type... Of, it was forgiveness. For me personally... But who were you trying to forgive? It was me. I thought all this time it was something or other people or, you know, God. And it was me. It was all the things so that I hated you're working for. on the forgiveness of yourself? That was that fa the phase, the worst phase that I went through this year. And to do that, mm. I was at home 
on my own. Not, nobody was allowed to come round. Nobody heard from me. My phone would be at 89% at the end of the day. There was no <laughs> yeah, social no. media that was going on. There was I wasn't even replying to people. That's how seriously I took it because I knew that there was something wrong. I kept like getting up, going to studio and things like that because I was allowed to still go to studio during during that time. Because you're a recording artist. Yeah, because well. I'm recording artist. So um, I was allowed to go studio still. And I'd get up and I'd go to studio. And then after a couple of days, I'd find myself in bed two to three mm. days. Something something so small would just tip me over. I'm quite a strong person and it's, it's, it wasn't sitting right with me. And then I get up and I go to studio again. And then again, a couple of days, and I'm in bed for a few days. And I just said to everybody, do you know what? There's something wrong with me. Were you depressed? I thought I was depressed. I actually got to the point because it had gone on probably since about October, October, November of the year before. Something just turned in me. And I actually got, I had got COVID in December. And I tell you what, this was the final, final thing for me. I had to sit still for 14 days. Mm. So I had to sit with it, sit yeah. with what was going on in here, sit with what was going on in here. And it turned me upside down. I was the saddest, saddest girl in the world. Mm. And everything that I probably had run from, for the past two years, the parts of losing him that I didn't want to face, the parts of the things that people had done around yeah. the time that I'd lost him that I didn't want to face, that was here and I couldn't breathe. And you had to hear it. I couldn't breathe. I thought I was depressed. I started talking to my friends about going to the doctors mm. about, and I just, I kind of knew cause I've had depression before in my life. And I kind of knew that it, I, fe I, I knew that it wasn't that. Mm. I knew that it was just, okay, it's here now. You can't push it down no more. Right. You can't block this out no more. You can't go uh, across to another country. You can't go out with your friends. You can't drink it away. You can't. Because that's like what I do. I am a girl. If I can't sleep, for example, mm. I know pink Moscato, two glasses, I'm good mm. to go. Mm. I'll just, and I won't drink for um, pleasure. I'll drink just to numb mm. and just go to sleep. Mm. And that became my problem in pandemic because I was faced mm with myself mm. and sitting in silence or sitting with myself I turned to drinking way more than I ever did ever in my life and I'm a lightweight mm. now I probably could drink someone at the table because I've had like 18 months of practice <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> we're pro now but, yeah but it's not healthy yeah and it's about facing that and that's what you'd say doing the work is all about yeah see I went the opposite way I probably I did do that for the first six months because I was in America when COVID hit okay so I come back to the country for the first six months I didn't take COVID seriously mm. I thought I was on the sesh you know yeah. I, did, I didn't care about nothing I'm gonna go back anyway yeah, three yeah, weeks yeah. four weeks five weeks after about six seven months I was like oh, okay I think this is a bit serious you know and that's when I started working on my music I ghosted everybody that I was going out with at that time started working on my music then December hit got COVID Christmas was a really hard period for me as well and I think it was just that all of that wrapped into one. And then I was on the floor. I was on the floor. When I tell you there was times when I was in my room where I was literally on my knees screaming really? to God to forgive me, to my dad, to forgive me for all the things that I have kept in my head and in my heart, all the last moments that I should have spent time with him. And the fact that I didn't say I love you to him when I last see him at the door. And, you know, just all those things, everything that I had built up in my head over, over the last few years that he was alive. And that for me, was probably the most traumatic thing I've ever been through. But I've done it on my own. So now you did the cocoon into this alpha butterfly. Mm. So now when you're looking for a man, can you be with an alpha? Yes. But two alphas, that is problems. I don't even want to say domestic abuse. But, <laughs> on, but on a level, that seems to me like a crisis. Like okay. two bulls in a china shop. I'm, listen, for me, being an alpha is not being a bull. It's okay. just being a... Because that's the Im impression that I have. When I hear alpha, I exactly. hear dominate, exactly. dominatrix, but a dominant character, yeah. quite forceful and passionate. Yeah, and this is the problem where, where why people, a lot, of, a lot of people, well, men mainly came for me when I said I was an alpha female. And I think that's because, and I understand why. I think it's because a hell of a lot of people have, in this generation, have literally deformed the meaning of the word alpha and queen and things like that. People walk around and think that you could just click your fingers and people, especially at men, you know, you should be paying for this. You should be doing that. You should be yeah. doing that. And they're quite demanding and quite bougie about yeah. everything that they expect, you know. And I'm just like, that's not what being an alpha or a queen is. It's about your energy. Mm. It's about I'm walking into a room and people, I want people to feel my energy in such a way that they're like, wow, what can I learn from her? You know, like, how did she, how did she get to that? So, like, do, so doesn't alpha 
make a man pay for the date? It's got nothing to do with being an alpha. Really? It's got nothing to do with being an alpha. Because if you're such alpha. a bad bitch, like, come on, pay for your own but meal, why, innit? Okay, but why would you Why would you think that being a bad bitch is about a man paying for my dinner? I could pay for my own dinner. That's not the point. The alpha part is, it's a privilege for you to be sitting opposite me. That's the payment for my dinner. <laughs> come on. Come on, that's the payment for my no, that's payment you say for that's your a bit, dinner. That's a bit, like, egotistical, innit? No. No, I, I'm uncomfortable with that. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I really am. Like, I don't think I could actually say that out of my mouth. Like, oh my god, why? It's, why would you not? Okay, think let that me of practice. Yourself. Let me practice. It's a privilege for you to be sitting next to me. No, it's not. <laughs> no, you nearly done it. You should have laughed at the end. Come on. <laughs> no, why would I? Why would I say that though? Because. I because I okay my position that I stand in every single day is when you come from the places that I've come from mm. and you recreate yourself in a way that you never thought that you could I thought yeah. I was gonna die back then yeah. and I'm now here and I know the work that I have done I don't need to I just know I just know who I am I know what I am I know who I am I know what I've been through and I know what I've put myself through I think once you go and, and gain strength like that nobody in this world going to tell you who you are yes. or what you can and can't do and 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 stuff like that so do when a man says what are you bringing to the table what would be your answer i am the table oh, the table i am the table <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> where's your chair <laughs> where's your chair <laughs> what kind of men do you like <sighs> um I, I'm a I'm an energy and vibe person, right. very much so. So um, looks are obviously a, yeah. a category that is important. Mm -hmm. It's a category that is important. But for me, if your energy is off, I don't care how beautiful you are. I can have a beautiful man speaking to me, and within five minutes, I just get this horrible feeling. Like, I, I know it's not the ick. The ick is different. It's like it's like your soul is not as beautiful as your face. Mm. And, I can and that's see and it. that's for a lot of girls, you know. Mm. That's a, a lot of females have beautiful faces, mm. and oh yeah, we their, their souls are wrong, mm. and they are not nice people. Yeah, and they think that their beauty or body can allow them to have a passport to success. See, and a, a lot of the thing is, it does get them places, and it does, it does. get us places. And I get penalised with this one a lot. Oh, because of the way that I look, I must not have suffered with anything. I yeah. must not be going for anything. When I say I'm an alpha female, I must just be an egotistical, you know, empty shell of a look at her, like all that stuff. And mm. I, the thing is, you just never, ever judge a book by its cover. You should never, ever do that. Because uh, some people are deeper than you will ever, ever be able to comprehend. Mm. And some people are the shallowest, shallowest human beings you will ever come across. Mm. But you're, for me, nobody can call me beautiful unless they see past this. Mm. This is nothing. This is nothing absolutely nothing my soul my spirit who i am as a human being i can sit here and say that that's beautiful mm. but if you if somebody was just going to sit there and say compliments about my face they don't really mean anything to me it's makeup it's hair it's whatever you know like but then it's what you see because you can't see personality so in order for someone to walk up to you mm. they have to see the outside and they have to take that into face value face value for what it is yeah. to start with so you can't really judge someone to maybe choose a prettier girl over an ugly girl no it's not a judgment it's just that initial compliment it doesn't penetrate very okay. very much for me it's just like a it's just, it's just it's just words so what what kind of uh, approach do you like say a man was to see you out mm -hmm. what would he say to you to get your attention to ask me out yeah is it like some rust about yo sister in <laughs> me feel your spirit and you're asking is it like that tree you? No. Would that work for you? No, you're telling me you're, you're all these vibes to get it. So I just want to know, no. you know, Mother Earth. Is no. that what you want to hear? No, I mean like your energy. Like, because my energy is... Oh, you want to talk about your chakras and that? No. Your sister and your art chakra. No, you're I looking, talk to my you're art thinking, chakra. <laughs> you're thinking about the literal side of it. Oh, I'm bad. talking about like who you are as a person. Like you, for example. I've come into the room your whole energy fills this room like i've walked in and i felt it i feel mm. comfortable i felt comfortable straight away to hug you to chat to you do you know what i mean even have a message yeah i could tell the kind of person that you are that's that's lit for me like that's what you mean so for me confidence is definitely key yeah. because i'm quite a confident person yeah. so the last thing that i need is somebody that's going to feel insecure and stuff like that you know you have to be quite a confident person because i am but for me 
It just shoot your shot, man. Yeah. Just shoot your shot. You know, I've slid man. up in DMs, you know, and they get ignored. Do you know how hard that is sometimes? I'm not even gonna lie. I did slide up in one little cutie. <laughs> you didn't even hold her back. How what? dare he? Does he not know who I am? Exactly. That's what killing it. Exactly. Oh. I mean, I've, I don't think I've ever DM someone myself. See? No, I don't think I've ever. Rate me, that. please. <laughs> rate me. I rate you highly for like, doing I that. I slid up. I like, even came with lyrics, that. you know. One of my lyrics is, um, Oh, I heard you were sick. And then they go, huh? And I say, yeah, I heard you needed a little vitamin me. <laughs> I'm going to write it down. I'm going to write it down. If the next guy doesn't come at me with that, then I'm, it's just dust. That's it. Nothing. I it's love that. Big, you know? I actually love that. I mean, if you, if it you, really, if you, if you do do that, I would reply. Yeah. I would reply. It ain't really worked out so far, <laughs> but I just think he's just not the one for me then. Probably the man not. that loves that, is my man, isn't it? Because the thing is, here is the thing. As many is is fine. Obviously, I'm talking about the men that come for me about yeah. all these things. But what about the men that were just like, she's popping and she knows it, and all you lot are totally insecure. Like, why are you getting so offended? The girl was talking about herself. This is. I was actually just talking about me as a person. What I am. I think watching the video, you can actually tell that I'm a person that's come from something, mm. and that's why I'm like that. And some people did pick up on that. <laughs> So you was also speaking about red flags. Mm. Yeah. What to you is a red flag? Because you gave, um, I loved one of your, <laughs> you talked about the red flag is not going to turn amber and green. <laughs> yeah. Can we talk about that? I said a red flag is like a red card in football. Like the crime has been done. You yeah. need to get off the pitch. Because most women just see one and then another one and then another one. As I said, it's not like a traffic light. It's not going to go from red to amber to green if you sit at the light for long enough do you know what I mean I love that it's because <laughs> I'm a girl like sometimes I'm a bit colour blind and it looks a bit pink to me it's a bit pinkish it looks a bit pinkish <laughs> it's a bit pinkish it's like a <laughs> like, I don't really see it. I've got my sunglasses on <laughs> and we don't want to see it. why do you think women don't want to see these red flags I mean I've done I've done that a million times a million times sometimes it's because I've taken the time to get to know the person over message before ever meeting them and I've really 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 enjoyed the person's yeah. company so then when I see the red flags and I've been in this one, when I see them red flags in front of my eyes and I'm like, whoa, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm just like, but no, nah, like I really got to know this person over message, you know, and I, and, I, mm. and I really, really felt attracted to who they are. That's why I can tell these women that fall in love with men over prison. Like, you know, when they go on these prison <laughs> websites and they find men like, and they love them because sometimes it's just the message or the writing. It just touches your soul. And then they come out and you realise he did like 25 to life and all these things. I and think, then I think women, we, we fall for words. We do. We fall for words. I'm very much so a word person. Hey, if you're you just write me a, me a message, song, you know, isn't it? What? If you're going to send me a message that just says, you cool, we, 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 W-Y-D. No, no, like, no. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Like, nah, you can't even the spell. Whole team, yeah, you can't even, you can't and even don't say to write the you, whole word. say Y-O-U. Yeah, oh. exactly. But I get turned off by bad spelling. Me too. So that's another thing. The grammar's got to be on point. And yes. don't put a random full stop in there. Like, you know, and then you tell you it's about your phone or predicted something. Not I don't want to hear that. But okay. <laughs> I can feel you. Yeah. I, I realise that I, as I'm getting older, though, mm. I'm getting picky. Mm. Do you find yourself making better decisions or worse as you're getting older? I think always the saying goes, with age comes wisdom, doesn't it? You get to know yourself better. You get to understand, you don't know what you do want until you know what you don't want. Do you know what I mean? So you go through the bad relationships and you go through the things that you love about certain people and the things that you hate. That Everybody is attracted to the same kind of thing. And then you kind of filter out the things that you realise, you know what, that was a red flag last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to stay away from but that But then they one. say, don't paint this, the, what did they say? Don't paint him with the same brush. Because what he did wrong might not he did wrong. But for me, once you've done a red flag, I'm all, like automatically looking at that. Like I had one dude did fraud on me, yeah? Because mm. I know fraud. Everything. Fraud. You never had a man to do fraud on you? What do you mean do fraud on you? Like take out things with your name? No. <laughs> what kind of venue you rolling with, sis? <laughs> anyway, that's another podcast. This is why uh, I don't ask my DMs. <laughs> this is why. Anyway. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Anyway. But anyway, after that, I was like, oh, can't leave a bank card around. Can't leave this around. Do you know what I mean? And then, oh, yeah. yeah, then it makes you feel a bit... Mm. Funny, or if you've been cheated on, mm. subconsciously mm. you do think the next man might be you dabbling around. You do, especially if it's been done. 
in a way that you just didn't see it coming. Yeah. He was totally in love with the person, totally beside him. It was done in a really, really, people don't, people really don't. I think cheating is one of the most disgusting things in the world. Yeah. I've never cheated on anyone. I never would. I, I can be single and be promiscuous, but I'm single, so I can yeah. do what I want. Cheating, the damage lasts for yeah. so long, for so many years. It's actually so traumatizing. Like the person doesn't even see themselves in the same way anymore. Yeah. And I just, it's, yeah, it's just we, the lowest of the low. We started me. talking about trauma. And I think trauma is one of those things that a lot of people don't recognize. Mm. Uh, wh- wh- what do you think about trauma in men and how that impacts them in terms of their success, development, relationships? I think men are better capable of um, using trauma as a fuel. I think women take a lot longer to do stuff like that or to um, women sit in the emotion. Men block it. So mm. men will just feel pain they don't know what it's about they haven't analyzed it or assessed it women go over and over and over and over overthink it think about that one thing that was said and done and things like that so with women it will be a thing that will hold you back and with men it'll be a thing that will propel them forwards but then don't you think it propels them never to trust women never you know all women are this i find that men then put this blanket statement say one girl cheated everybody cheat like it, they, I think they go too far. Mm. They go too deep. When they hurt, they hurt. You know. Yeah. They want to oh, men tear down the women. whole world. Men hurt. The thing is, men kind of have a very, very opinionated about how women behave and how women do a lot. A lot of us do do that whole blanket thing. Like guys do this and guys, all men do this and all and guys do that. But men mm. rarely get over anything. Rarely get over anything and they will carry that baggage from one person to the next. I'm the biggest advocate of you don't carry your baggage from one place to the next. Yeah. I've been single for nearly three years now and that was on purpose. Mm. I knew I was traumatized from Mm. multiple different things and it was unfair. It would be unfair for me to be in a relationship with a person who doesn't even have access. Some women don't hear though. Some men are not looking for that relationship. They start seeing a woman And it's a woman that gets caught up in the feelings and then the man gets blamed. But a lot of times he's told you what time it was. See, mm, this is a big one for me. Mm. If I say at the start, don't fall in love with me because I'm not available like that. And you go and fall in love with me. And then you come to me upset and crying about it. But I told you from the start. I told you from the start. And a lot of girls, when that guy tells you at the beginning... What is available and what is not, and what is interesting and what is not. All these girls think that they can change you. Yeah, because there's power in the pussy, innit? <laughs> there's power in the pussy, my girl, but not power in the pussy that is actually going to change the mind. My pussy can change lives, but <laughs> it can change lives. It can change your mind. I'm telling you. <laughs> Shit. No, you're serious. That's what we it's think. It's been though. done. I mean, I'm not going to say that I haven't done it because I have. But we really think that, that that's what could happen because we think, all right, then. But then also, he starts acting relationship ish. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. he stays around and he leaves a little something, or he might drop you shopping. Because or... men want to be wanted. I know. So don't they do don't want to be. If you they don't, don't want don't, a relationship. Like, exactly. But they, but they, want, they want you to fall for them. They but want you, you just, to. Fall no, but you for just them. said that you don't want a relationship. Exactly. But they want you to fall for them. No, I'm 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 confused. They want you to fall for them. They want you to fall for them so they can be like, la, let's see. What did I say at the beginning? <laughs> no. Why would beginning? you want to do that? To because someone? they want girlfriend things. From non-girlfriend women. They want you to do the whole spooning at night, yeah. you know, and do the whole affectionate thing. Because I love to be a little spoon. I'm not so little, but I do love it. Mm. Spooning is a, uh, it's not something that I... Unless it's my man. You don't it's spoon my man. just with regular man? No. Absolutely so I'm not. going wrong, you know. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Like, I have complete, very, very down-the-line rules as to what <laughs> I will do with a man that is my man, which we will have access to all of me, and a man that is not my man, even if I've just been seeing him. For Let a me hear while. three of these rules, please. Three. Number one is no spooning. Number two is no sleeping. No sleeping. Next to them. No sleeping next to them. No sleeping next to them. Listen, everybody talks about sex being the most intimate thing in the world. Let me tell you, it is not. The most intimate thing in the world to me is sleeping next to a man. You're vulnerable. Mm. You're asleep. You are in your most. I don't know, delicate, vulnerable. You can do bad juju on you in your sleep, <laughs> innit? <laughs> Take your hair and shit and put it on a doll. I, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know, but for me, because I'm a bit of a person that I, I want to be in control because I've been in times in my life where I wasn't in control of things that was going on around me, so I am like that. For me to sleep next to you, I have to feel safe. All right, what's number three? 
<laughs> let me think of a let me think of a third one. Oh, I never text first. What? I never text first. I you ain't my man, I ain't texting you first. You're not my, my my friends and all them lot, they get all the text messages in the world from me. I don't care. I'll double triple text them. A man that is not my man, you think I'm gonna text you first? You're As mad. in when you meet him. You're mad. No. Or just ever on a date. Ever. Ever. I'm not gonna text you first. If I don't hear from oh you that day, days. if I don't hear from you for that day. Let me take out my notes. <laughs> if well, I don't hear from you on that don't. morning, you didn't text me good morning that day, we ain't gonna talk. Ever. We ain't gonna talk until you text me. <laughs> take, it in. take it in because sometimes I Please do double text no, just, uh, no, just in case man, no, man. but just in case he didn't get it to, just in case he was on like, you see the double ticks no but they what? take off the double ticks they're on grey now so you don't know if he got it if it's double tick then the man received the message if it's one tick I'll allow it but if it's two ticks my guy received the message trust me and there's a million other ways that you can check if he's been on his phone anyway like you can you can check this don't ever double text a man it's if I double text that man, it's not your man. <laughs> no, this is rule number one for you from okay. now on. All right, I'm That's not it. double texting nobody. No, and I'm not sliding in DMs either. <laughs> no, I'm not shooting no. But in that sense, right? The thing is, I'm just old fashioned. I'm a woman that I believe that there's certain things that men should do first, mm. like approach me. I wouldn't mm. approach a man. You approach me. I'll, I'll if if I'm giving you the eye, I will openly talk to you in front of everyone. It doesn't matter, but. If what does the eye look like? Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna slide in my dear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you know, no. <laughs> like, And that's another you. thing, the amount of women that are sliding my dear. Do they? The amount of women that Do you are ever get like lately? like put off so much with men that you just think, why not? <laughs> like honestly, could you could? Every day. From nine from nine a.m. to twelve, <laughs> every day. Because they're too much. Because then another thing you were talking about, yeah, is like, do you say one of the biggest forms of disrespect is when someone when is it when someone says you're mad, and someone calls drives you mad and then calls you crazy. That's right? it. Say it again. One of the biggest forms of disrespect is when someone manipulates you into thinking that you're mad, and then calls you crazy. Yeah, has that happened to you? And then gets mad. Oh yeah, a million times. I've had a couple of narcissistic relationships i won't call them full-on relationships but um yeah but the, the thing is that doesn't that doesn't only count for um relationships that can count for family for friends people that are just you know talking about you behind your back and things like that because you use the word that i love the frenemies them mm. tell me how we're going to work around the frenemies what am i supposed to do if i spot a little wolf in the camp what am I supposed to do? Because I've been friends with my girl for like 18 years since we was, you know, her head was tough and we was in the playground. Yeah. And we've got memories and we've got time and maybe she's going through some stuff. How do I deal also with the friend she's of going through some stuff, she has to snake you. I don't know. That's what she's doing now. See, the thing is, in, in this in this version of Hava, mm. 2021 Hava, my knife is as sharp as it's ever been. In one thing, I'm one doubt and I'm out Hava now. You give me one reason to question you or one thing that I find out about and I don't even go and tell the person no more I used to I used to make a big fuss thinking that what I'm saying is really important and blah 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 and that actually care they don't if somebody is prepared to betray you in that way because it all comes under, under the umbrella of betrayal so if somebody's prepared to do that kind of thing to you to talk about you behind your back to talk about your business that you've like entrusted them with and things like that uh, money all these kind of things that friends and family all kind of relate to there is no reconciliation from stuff like that. You will never trust that person again, ever. So why do you have them in your life still? This is one thing that I don't understand about people. I cut 12 people off in my life in that three months. I lost wow. my granddad in that time as well. So this year, in the space of three months, I was like, what is going on? I felt like Keanu Reeves in Matrix. All of a sudden, <laughs> I just become so good at it. Like I was just dodging bullets, do you know what I mean? And I just eventually came cut off. Like one thing, and I, I don't even bother wasting my energy on the row. What's the point? What's the point? You know what you did? We're grown ups now. You know what you did. Why am I going to come and tell you? I don't need but to. But don't come you and think that's you. like another form of like ghosting, just disappearing and not saying nothing? No, because you've done wrong first. If but it's, how, did um, know, but how do they know that they've done wrong? Some people don't even know when they've done wrong, don't you think? If, if it was like that, 
then I would probably have a conversation if they know that they haven't done wrong. But if it's a case of, if suddenly, if all of a sudden you're texting me all the time, because say you've gone and bad mouth me to people, you, yeah. we text all the time. If your text messages become blue ticked, just yeah. know that I know. I know what you've done. I know what you've said. If all of a sudden those messages are not getting replied to and, and are getting read and left on read, I know what you've done. And the reason why I'm going to get three, four messages from you in one go, what have I done? Have I done something? Blah, blah, blah. It's because you know, I know what you've done. But <laughs> you don't want to own it. If you want to own it, I will, I will have a conversation with anybody that will own what they've done to me. Doesn't matter how bad it is. Doesn't matter how bad it is. You stole money from me. You send me a message and say, have a, this was the situation. I had done wrong. I'm sorry. I should never have done that to you. I will talk to you. I'll talk to you about it. I want to understand why is it you've done that but if you can't even own what you've done to me and most of the times when you do come away from somebody that's done something that bad to you they don't text they don't call they don't text they don't chase because they know what they've done yeah and they don't want to own it they know how bad it is what they've done and they don't want to own it so let let it go if two people are holding on to each other and you let go like this and this person lets go what's what's where is the I loss think i have so much guilt sometimes in letting go mm. i'm very forgiving and I'm very empathetic, to, as I said, to people's situations, circumstances or whatever. But at no advantage to myself at the end of it. Cause, but sometimes it's hard to put yourself first. How do you just decide to put yourself first? I got hurt too much, I think, is the answer to that. I got hurt by people that I never thought would ever hurt me. Mm. I had people turn their backs on me while I was going through that bad period in my life because healing is the messiest thing that you will ever do. And because everybody wasn't being fed by the haver that I usually am, the energetic, bubbly, blah, 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 I needed me because I could have fed them in the same way. All of a sudden, nobody wanted to deal with that version. Yeah, me. and you know what? Everybody wants to be there when it's when you get to the success, and nobody wants to be part of the process. But the process is where you understand who deserves to be there at the success. You want to leave me at my worst when I ain't even had a worst in my life. You want to leave me at my worst? Don't ever turn around. I will never ever open that door for you again. Wow. And I think when you get to a certain level of I don't know. I value my energy so much now because I work so hard to get it that if anybody brings anything questionable to me, I would rather just be like, no, you can't be in my space. And how do you cope with the people that's out there? So say, for example, I put out products, content, whatever, and I find that the I, the judgment for me is hard. Mm. You know, I want people to like my stuff. Mm and don't like the, the bad comments or the bad ticks. How do you cope? Because I bet you get bare. Good press is good press, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> He's like, I'm the, still the star of your show. You can go around tagging <laughs> me off to everybody. You're still talking about me. I'm still on the main stage. Like you're still talking about me. That's the way The way that I see it. I, I used to, I used to, because I've obviously put content out. As a singer, I used to get so, so nervous. Mm. And I've not probably acquired the things that I should have acquired on social media, especially because I was so scared mm. of what everybody would say because I wasn't as good a singer as everybody else and blah, 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 you know. And I still do get that with my voice when I put it out there. And like, don't get me wrong, there were some comments on the pandemic video and stuff like that that I could have taken to heart. Because some of them are really deep. Like I've noticed some Very people, deep. the way that they speak about others is really traumatic. Mm. Like, you know, you deserve to die. And you yeah. know, like people go... Oh, yeah hard in the pain yeah. you know like this is real life yeah and and, I, and and how are you going to protect yourself because by god's grace you'll become this amazing success that won't even answer my, my calls no more you know <laughs> you know I'll answer yours. <laughs> like, I'll answer yours. I'll like i won't like, ever reject you like that man did in your dm thanks. ever See, ever he's on instagram <laughs> let's listen out there you know who you are send me his send me his account later. i am gonna play some games <laughs> <laughs> slide up in it um but yeah so how are you gonna protect yourself i have just developed this i don't know i don't take it seriously none of okay. it is serious to me when i put the pandemic video out that was a joke mm. like how can you be so hurt about a joke you're hurt because you resonate with it yeah. because that's what you was doing to a girl and now the girls turn around and said it to you you're hurt about it yeah. like i just don't take people's opinions very seriously because 
again, it comes back to the alpha thing. I know who I am. So what you're writing, one person got really, really deep on one of the comments um, to the alpha female video. And it was one of the only ones that I actually went and replied to. I was reading all the rest laughing, but this one was pretty personal and I didn't like it. And he mentioned like not loving my mum and dad and stuff like that. Yeah, you're not an alpha because of all these different things here. When you mention my when you mention my dad is personal then for me. Do you know what I mean? Nah. I reacted. I reacted. So I went and quite respectfully replied. You know what? There was a few backwards forwards and she said all these comments on here and you've come for me. And I said, Yeah, because first of all, you're a female. These are all insecure men. They're just laughable. I said, second of all, you went too far. You're 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 personal here. Like it's too deep. You don't know nothing about me. You watched a 10 second video. First of all, I don't understand the mindset where anybody would stop on something on the internet and write something negative. I don't understand I don't the mindset. Understand it. I, I don't. could never, if I don't like it, I'm going to carry on scrolling. That's, That's what it. social media is for. If I love it, I'm, I'm going to write. Yeah. Sis, you are banging here. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But if it, if I don't like it, never in a million years would I sit there and formulate <laughs> something <laughs> negative <laughs> about this human being. It's, it's mad, ridiculous. isn't it? It's that, that is actually mad. That's what I think. No, you're all mad. You're all actually mad. But this, <laughs> this one person actually kudos to her went and obviously she must have gone through my profile and seen that there's a hell of a lot more to me mm. and there's a big backstory to me as well as to how I've come to be the person I am and she actually came back and wrote on there I should think better about the words that I put wow. on social media yeah I should think more carefully about the words that I use because you is it because you bad her up do. I didn't I didn't to <laughs> that to that extent no because I didn't reply anymore I just replied a couple of times and I left it and this was a separate comment so she's obviously gone which you know what i got so much respect for that because a lot of people don't do stuff like that yeah. they write their comments they put their negativity out there and they'll just keep going because that's, that's a big thing for me once you've done something wrong and you can say sorry mm -hmm. the apology it, it, it doesn't matter how it's received or if yep. it's given or forgotten apologies for people are really difficult mm. and i think we've got to that culture of either using the word sorry too much mm. or not saying it at all mm. And I think we have to get better at recognizing our thoughts, our ways, and because we're not perfect. No, I'm not. I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit out here and say that I do everything right at all. I'm learning. This this whole game with life yeah. is a journey. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, cool. And I'm really trying to do the best that I can do with the gifts that I've been given. Mm. And sometimes we get it wrong. And that's all you can do, man. I never sat there, even though I said the the even though I said on the video. I'm an alpha female and I'm not for everyone. Mm. And that's cool. Not everybody's gonna like me. A lot of people don't like me. What's the opposite of an alpha female? I wanna say beta, but that sounds very sad. No, scientific. beta wouldn't be it. I would say, I would, it's like a. You gonna say dog? No, I was gonna say dom and a sub. So <laughs> a dominant, this is a bit sexual, but it's like it's a dominant woman and a submissive woman. So you have women oh. that are. Um, Oh, them freaky things. <laughs> <laughs> not, not in that way. Them sex party things. Not in that way, but you go uh, with your man. Yeah. Uh, would you ever do that? What? Go with a, go to, with your man to a sex party with my man? Yeah, sure. Would, would you? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so short? <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm too jail for that. I've, I've taken. Oh, my man nah, to a strip bitch. Club before. Mm. Yeah, I go strip club, mm. but no woman ain't putting their hand on my man. Are you right? No. Only if she puts her hands on me as well. No, but. No, you can put your hand on me, but don't put your hand on him. <laughs> I used to be like that. I used to be like I used to be so so jealous and territorial. Yeah, I'm territorial. And bad. now I'm just like don't even smell his cologne. Yeah, fam. But, don't yeah, even. Yeah, but you're talking about uh, you're talking about in a in a like out just we're going out to the club environment. We're not even going to the club. You're staying home, fam. <laughs> if I got a chung thing, he's staying home. Why you why you gotta go outside for? I open the door for fresh. <laughs> she everything you need is up in her. Everything you need is here. <laughs> See, but this is the thing. We need to be allowing our men to explore, right? The same way that they need to allow me to explore too. And this is a bit that they don't like. But you will never get a man. He was either going to be honest with you about it because you're free enough mm. to allow him to be honest with you, to look at her. If a woman is flying, let me tell you, I'm looking at her before him. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. a lot of women do. And then the next thing that they do is turn around to see if he's looking at her. But if he's looking at her, he ain't all right. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. like, you're <laughs> never going to stop your man from looking at other women. No. Don't touch her. But you look at her, she's beautiful. Yeah. She's beautiful. And I can like, say that. Like, I go out and I see a girl and she looks good. I say, sis, you look good. Yeah, me too. Like, I think it's really important as yeah. women that we empower each other. Absolutely. Anyway, because I don't necessarily think men go up to you and say, oh, you know, you, that dress is really cute today. I remember I was in a strip club in um, Atlanta. And you said what now? In, in a strip club. <laughs> and I had a 
black girl, a white girl, and a mixed girl. I kept it, you know, <laughs> United Nations friendly, you know. Just don't, I just don't no discriminate. discrimination. None around no here. No discrimination. And instead of the girls winding up their things, I was busy telling me, oh, I like your accent. I'm like, just dance, girl. Just <laughs> dance. <laughs> oh, where'd you get that outfit from? Just dance, girl. Like, I'm paying for you to tell me about my outfit. <laughs> Shit, man. Girls chat too much. And, but I've also had a, moves. yeah, yeah. It's but then it. the um, male strippers are nasty. Have you ever had a male stripper? Yeah. The yeah, American what do you ones. mean nasty how? Like the American ones, they want to like open your legs and Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't have that. Okay. <laughs> Mom ma was in the UK. Ma was I, like, nah, they're America. light work. They're yeah, light they, work. Yeah, they they're were American very light guy. work. It was like we could touch them, but they and they but they like had, were very like, can I have your permission to touch you? Kind of thing. Like it was oh. very politeness. <laughs> there was no throw down involved. It was very politeness. But that's the British yeah, in general, isn't it? We're so polite. Oh, it's unreal. Can I sit on your face? Yeah. Please, can I? <laughs> Please, can I? Please, can I? Can I, can I have some more? <laughs> Please, can you come a little bit lower? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? It has been a pleasure having you in here. I could sit on here and chat here, to man. you, but we're going to get kicked out of this room in a minute. Mm. So, Michael, you have to come back and we have to talk. We have to chop it up. You have to send me some tunes. Yes. Because I've got a playlist for when the man... The, well, no, we're not having man them no more. We're having one single man in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut that bit out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's called Bedroom Antics. So I need some, okay. like, I need some of them, them sexy tunes mm. that you've got, yeah? Mm. That's going to make them... i got some for you. Yeah, baby. Mm. I want it top of my playlist, you know, mm. when I'm doing my little dance and that. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thank Ladies you Ladies so and gentlemen, much. this has been Hava and I love her. <laughs> and you've got to have her. Thanks, guys. <laughs>